All right, good evening. Um, this was week something with West Coast Swing. Um, so tonight what we did is we reviewed the sugar push and the whip. Um, I won't go over those now, I'll see all the videos. Um, but what we really wanted to focus on uh, to do something new tonight was a little bit more of our um, tension and compression and uh, how we can listen to music a little bit and then adding in the play. So um, one of the main things I want to focus on is uh, as we do this tension and compression is to make sure that we're feeling it the whole way through. And that as I'm moving, this stays calm, right? No matter what twist is happening here, what's going on, this connection is calm. And especially when we're playing at the end of the count, so I've done my six count or eight count pattern, you find yourself back here in the anchor, is that I can say, all right, this should be a place I'm comfortable, not I'm trying to get out of this fast as possible, right? This is my resting point, this is home. And this needs to be in the center of that home. So if we're just gonna kind of hang it, whether it's just a little side step or whatever, right? Or if I'm going to kind of you know, do some rondes or whatever it is that doesn't want to do, that stays calm. Um, we talked about some things we can do in this position. So one of which might be called the bebop, but if I'm really all moving, we got quick compression back to my tension, quick compression back to tension is a good way to kind of find something to play with. Um, but that idea of that uh, quick compression and tension, I want to have that even through my bigger moves. So as I do my sugar push, right, I'm in tension, I'm in tension, I'm in tension, then compression. Right? And then back compression to tension. Right? There's not really a moment of like, I don't want to feel I initiated, we hang out, we catch, we hang out, and then we catch. Right? The whole way through, I'm in tension, I'm in tension, I'm in compression, I'm in compression, I'm in tension, I'm in tension. Same thing with the whip, right? Is I'm here in tension, right? There's compression, back to tension, back to compression, back to tension, and then more, right? So um, in the whip, where I want to catch those compression points is on two and like just before five, right? So I just feel like I'm in tension one, two, right? There's a little, sorry, this way, a little compression here in this hand, right? We're gonna start moving through, right? Four, not quite yet, but five, listen it out, back six, anchor out, back to the tension. So I find those points throughout this entire move. The next thing to talk about is if I can hit those points that enables me to have more play and I can change things. So for example, if I'm gonna hit that tension on two, right? One hit, two, right? Now I can do those bebops we're talking about. Right? And then I can either choose then to continue my whip, right? Or I could exit out a different way. Another option is on that between the four and five is I could change the slot. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right? And I'm only able to do that if I'm there connected with my partner the whole time. Um, and the last thing talked about was listening to the music and how most music is 4 4 time. Um, and that's what we dance West Coast Swing to. And then those kind of 4 4 elements build up into 8 count um, measures, or not measures, 8 count yeah, patterns. And then we get like our phrases, which would be 16 to 32 counts. And when I can hear that one coming, I can try to make myself a little music by hitting something on that one. So we talked about slicing a turn in in the middle of my sugar push. So what that looks like is 1, 2. I'm going to compress a little early here and try and stay close. I'm now going to step across the slot three to do this turn. We'll go back to back. I'm going to place my way back to four. We're going to hang out five, hold six, and then either I'm going to step back to my anchor step or I'm going to send the follow back for the anchor step right, to get that shape again. So when I want to line this up with music, um, I might say, okay, well, I'm hearing that we've done three eight counts. So this next eight count is going to be right before the one. So I feel it is all right. We just did, um, you know, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We go one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight. Hit one, two, three, hold four, five, and six. Right. So I can start to use it to help play with my musicality. Um, beyond that, we just kind of played around, found other ways to try to get that musicality, uh, work on that stretching, the image compression, and then uh, hopefully it's a lot of fun. That. So, see you all next week. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.